local fisherman brings us the story of an incredible journey and it starts here in Maryland and makes its way all the way down the eastern seaboard all the way through Florida and underneath the Florida Keys and it ends right there at Crystal River. Tonight, ABC Action News reporter Julie Salomon with the creature that made this 1600 mile trek. Crab a little crazy. Thomas Cochran wonders how his latest catch in Crystal River ended up in the trap. The crab had a tag, Smithsonian Environmental Research Center. On it, a phone number. Didn't know what to expect. I uh, ran up to a bunch of colleagues in Kings Bay and uh, they really just have never seen anything like that either. Biologists told him to hang on to that crab. I got it secluded away in its own little trap with bait to keep them fed. Biologist Robert Aguilar with the Smithsonian Environmental Research Center in Maryland believes it's a crab they tagged nearly two years ago, making this the furthest south any of their tagged crabs have traveled. We've tagged uh, roughly 50,000 blue crabs and by and large they are caught within Chesapeake Bay. We've had a number of crabs caught um, in North Carolina. Aguilar says female blue crabs usually stay close, migrating to lay eggs. The crab Cochran caught was male. And you can tell if it's a male or female crab by looking at the underside. This one is a male right here and over there is a female. Researchers interested in studying the blue crab population released tag crabs in the Maryland portion of the Chesapeake Bay between 2003 and 2016. To look at their uh, migration movement and behavior. Biologists thrilled over Cochrane's catch. They want to study it, but no, they likely won't figure out how it traveled to Florida. Reporting in Citrus County, Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.